Hey everyone! So today I have a tutorial for you all on the look that I'm wearing right now. It's kind of a really dark black smoky eye with a bit of warmth th through the crease and then a really metallic pop uh, just on the lower lash line there. Um, it's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> um, that metallic shadow is really, really metallic. Now you can just leave this look uh, as it was without the uh, Steel and Magnificent Metals and it would be quite a nice kind of um, partying smoky eye kind of thing. Uh, this is just something a little bit different, um, especially if you're into gold and things like that. Um, but yes, you can swap that metallic colour out for a different, um, a different highlight colour on the inner corner. But yeah, I, um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, if you guys are interested in seeing the tutorial, please keep watching. Okay, um, I'm just going to start out with uh, my primer, which is the By Terry Hyaluronic Primer. I've, um, I've been trying this one out with the, uh, the Hyaluronic Powder, because that's my favourite powder. And I'm really, really liking it. So I'm just blending that in with fingers. And for foundation, I'm going to uh, take the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. I want to make the skin really nice and natural and glowing, because we're going to be doing so much with the eyes. And I'm just dotting that on. And I'm blending that one in with a beauty blender. Now this does a really nice job at just cancelling out redness and just kind of making the skin look just a little bit more kind of put together but you do need to use concealer with it. Next I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm just going to use that in the areas that need a little bit more coverage. Um, so under my eyes, around my nose and just where you've got any blemishes as well and I'd like to do it around my mouth as well because I get a lot of like redness and unevenness around there. And I'll blend that one in with the Beauty Blender as well. concealer makes a massive difference to the skin as well. For blush I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in Calypso Coral and I'm just going to take that on the MAC 130 brush. And now I'm just going to powder using my By Terry Hyaluronic Powder uh, just on my 138 brush. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of excess powder just under the eyes while I do uh, my eyeshadow. That way you won't really have that problem with fallout because you'll be able to brush it away. Okay, so just patting that underneath the eyes. You can't see it on camera, but there is quite a bit of powder under there. So, eyebrows. What we'll just do is we'll take uh, the MAC Clear Brow Gel, just brush the brows up a little, just kind of to set them in place. Mine are really bushy at the moment, I'm trying to grow them out so I can get a bit better shape. And I'm going to take my Anastasia Dip Brow in uh, Blonde. And I'm just going to take that one on the Anastasia uh, number 7 brush because it's really thin. I'm going to use that to kind of lightly do my brows. Okay, so I'm going to start at the tail because uh, that's where my brows are kind of the sparsest. And then I will um, work into the, into the inside part there uh, where I don't need as much product. Please pardon my lips as well. 
they're really kind of red. I've been losing a lot of skin off them because of the winter, like because of the cold weather. Okay, so for the eyes, I'm going to take uh, my NARS Pro Prime and just pop that all over the lids. Just blending that with fingers. So I'm just going to take Soft Brown uh, from MAC and just use that as my transition colour in the crease. And I want this to be nice and warm up in the crease. So that way it adds a really nice contrast to the black. I'm also taking a bit of that under the eye as well. In case you can't tell, this colour is by far my favourite colour from MAC. It's just so nice and warm and nice. <laughs> so now that that is nice and warm and I look kind of junky-esque, that's awesome. I'm going to take a MAC Black Ground uh, paint pot and I'm just going to take that on an Inglot kind of um, synthetic uh, and hair blend brush and I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. I'm just really concentrating that at the base of the um, at the base of the lashes. And I'm just taking that just up to that crease colour. If you have trouble blending, blending that colour as well, just kind of wipe off the brush and just kind of go over it again. Okay, and I'm just going to take some more of that soft brown on the MAC 217 brush and just blend that again through the crease. And seriously, at this stage it's going to look pretty gross. Next I'm going to take some MAC Carbon, which is just a matte black, on a 239 brush and I'm just going to start packing that on the lid and building up that colour. Now I'm only taking that just up, just under where the crease colour is. I'm actually going to use another shadow to kind of blend that and kind of uh, and kind of build it into that soft brown colour. Next I'm going to take NARS Bengali eyeshadow, uh, which is just a really nice dark matte brown um, on a NARS uh, just tapered blending brush. I'm just going to use that just above the carbon, uh, just below where the soft brown is. 
I'm going to blend that really nicely through there so it blends really well. If you feel you need a little bit more of that soft brown as well, you can always take a little bit more and just blend that through, just to really warm it up a lot. And that'll help to tie in the sparkle that we're going to use as well. You want to blend this really well so it's really nice and diffused. Okay, so I'm just taking a little bit more soft brown and blending that underneath the eye. And because we're going for a smoky look, you can take it down quite a way. So it doesn't matter if you're using a big fluffy brush. Then I'm going to take my uh, MAC 219 brush and a little bit of that NARS Bengali. And then I'll just pop that underneath as well. Then I'm going to take some more MAC Carbon. Just on that same brush and just pop that in the outer part of the lower lash line. Just to really build that up. And I just want to seamlessly connect the bottom to the top as well. So you want to just make sure that the black kind of cohesively connects to the bottom lash line. Once again, I'm just taking a little bit more soft brown and just kind of diffusing that under the eye. Now that we're done with all the dark colors, we can actually remove that powder from underneath that's uh, kind of caught all of the fallout. There we go. So I'm just using my powder brush to do that. There we go. And we've ended up with no fallout under there, which is lovely. Otherwise you end up with these big dark circles underneath. <laughs> Next, I am going to take my uh, Hourglass Mechanical Gel Pencil. And I'm just going to use that to kind of uh, line my waterline. You want to take that in and get as nice a coverage as you can. And also on the top lash line as well. Next, I'm going to take uh, Comex Gold from uh, Stila, the Magnificent Metal Colour, and I'm going to take that with a little bit of the activator on one of the trays, and just mix that up, and I'm going to use that on the inner part of the eye. And I'm just doing that with the Stila Magnificent Metals uh, kind of rubbery brush thing, the number 37. I'm just applying that now. And this is super metallic. we go and once that color dries you can actually blend it uh, kind of so it diffuses into into the rest of the shadow I'll use a q-tip for that it just makes it a little bit easier um, but yeah you just kind of use it to run across 
the end part there to kind of get it into the shadow a little bit. Kind of make that sparkle spread. And just on the top as well. So you can use the Q-tip to kind of blend out the harshness of the edge as well. Because when you use that activator, it does make a really harsh edge like paint. Now I'm just going to do my mascara, as always, do your It Lash and Clinique Bottom Lash. Okay, and for lips, I'm just going to use my uh, Buxom Mudslide. I don't want anything super defined because the eyes are so dark. So just a natural pink. There we go. And that's it. That's the whole look. Um, I really like how it turned out. That that metallic colour though is super, super intense. So if um, if it's not really your your kettle of fish, as they say, um, you don't have to do it. It's a, it kind of is a little bit different and um, kind of a little bit out of a lot of people's comfort zone. I know that it I'd probably only wear this out partying. Um, I'd wear the regular smoky eye um, if I was if I was going out on a date or something like that. But I'd leave the metallic part off. But yeah, I um I hope you guys I uh, enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please uh please feel free to leave me a comment and uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. <laughs>